potentially both being cause was a little bit worrying uh, in regards to the kind of the, the big picture of what the draft's trying to do. But this flex doesn't feel bad at all. Um, I think especially as well because you have the nature's profit aspect, you now have constant kill threat, right? Your, your offlane duo has double stun with a profit TP. It's It could be overwhelming. And Nico, they've, they've won in all the games we've seen so far from them. They've either come out even or ahead in laning phase. There's yet to yes, be a game where I've been like, they've been destroyed. You know, like lanes are good for them. It's everything else after, which is the the ups and downs from them. <laughs> the painful part for the for the most yeah. part, yes. It's uh it's 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 been a roller coaster ride so far for this this new roster for Nigma Galaxy. So hopefully they can pull it together here and pull off a clean win versus Hanini. But of course really uh, Hanini won't be letting win. that happen very easily and uh yeah isler as well and his monkey king you know this this does feel like a good hero for him i i think it feels very comfort for hanini you know like i'm i'm looking at these players and from what i've seen from them so far metaphor having like a, a go in and mess shit up kind of hero is exactly what he wants so prama boost fits the bill perfectly is there something he can farm a little bit but also kind of like pull off some kind of showy plays um like we've seen on his meepo that's exactly what fits him. So Monkey King definitely fits the bill as well. And then Cold on something which feeds mercilessly because uh, he's, <laughs> awesome. he's, he's always playing the Venge or something and just dying like 10 times, you know? Yeah, he's the, he is the sacrificial lamb for the team for sure, bless him. But yeah, there's always, the there's always that one player. Yeah. 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 No, I, I, draft-wise, I, I do favor Nygmas, um, but I really respect the, the fact that Hini has entered this game like you said, with comfort, with a clear game plan, it is going to be just aggression, fight, and I just hope that they subscribe to it, like, the entire game. Like, find that balance between poking your opponent, resetting, farming, and then going again when you have the resources, because they have yeah. all the tools to so, do it. What's up? One thing that's very interesting is um, all these different Profit 5 players or Profit 4 players, you always get that option, right? You can place a ward anywhere on the map, wherever you want, and uh, Kerr actually goes and places one by the uh, Radiant Secret Shop, so kind of gives you an idea on what they're looking to achieve here. Most of the time we see people running in place in the mid, but uh, Kuro always wants to do things a little different. It's probably respecting the Tiny from Hanini, most likely. Tiny likes to kind of flow through the river right towards t uh, mid and top lane. So help him out there and both teams just posturing the room we'll see if there's a bit of a fight metaphor just teasing the high ground yeah he's pinging he's suggesting it. how does he know he saw them stutter step for a second mm. very tense early game here between these two teams <laughs> figuring each other out like they figured out exactly where the center was standing due to the smoke pops that was kind of cute now they find out exactly where the uh the waters through brains <laughs> but at the end of the day it's going to be two for two on the bounty runes the uh, ward placed early by kuro not really going to do a whole lot at the moment at least so that'll be that so primal beast versus smail on the keeper of the light in the middle lane uh can coddle survive this lane does the the primal beast just farm up every wave i mean how, how is this one going to go down do you think Mm. Bit of a farm fest between both of them. I think uh, <laughs> Metaphor can just pump fake your spell for the memes, I guess. Um, <laughs> no, it's more about what we just see there, right? Like Sumel, he charges out Illuminate. Right now, he can't instant kill waves, of course, so he has to be smart with how he right clicks the creeps. He doesn't actually get a lot, he only gets two CS of the four. Um, but yeah, both heroes in the mid lane should just be farming. For me, I am looking at Hanini being able to try and break the side lanes. This mid lane matchup. Unless someone egregiously mispositions, it should just be CS battles. Maybe some more denies go the way of Primal, but already as we look back to bot oh, lane. catches a courier. Ooh, Matthew, just a few centimeters off the move stomp there. Inches for our uh, Imperial viewers. But might just be able to run him down regardless. Power shot comes through and Cold goes down. Matthew drawing first blood there onto the Hellini support. No, it's... Uh... You don't want to give a level advantage away. I feel like every time you play Crystal Maiden, it's always about the chase for level two. You use your Nova, secure that range creep, get level two with Frostbite, some mangoes, a blood grenade, get a kill in the lane, and then when they come back, they just know, wait, they can kill me. And unfortunately no. for Hinini, they've entered the lane differently. Yeah, and Mad, Mad Frog, Frog is... Ooh, Jesus! <laughs> what the hell? Where did this help? 
<laughs> it's pretty awkward. He now doesn't it's have fine. TP it's back fine. to base. Yeah, but Miracle can't. Uh, I mean, little one can't really do anything to him. It's a, it's a panda. Oh no, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, he'll be able to tango up. Unfortunately, not able to stack either. No, a little off timing for that one. But still, getting the kill onto Mad Frog. Always a good thing. Yeah, you will struggle. Oh, oh get a little close for comfort there on uh, Kuro, and yeah, he's just gonna straight up die. So, not really respecting the blood grenade. I mean. It's a new item, Blood Grenade, you know, Kuro, he's, he's a... He's no, no, player. it's it's level two, it's level two, all right? I'm not going to allow you to do that. You're not Twitch chat, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm being ero yeah, eroded you, by them. Exactly. Turn, the close it, close chat. rubbing off yeah. on me. No, 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 but Tiny was level one, Creep died, got two, hit Avalanche, he dies, right? It's They just Ooh, haven't kept like... track of the XP and is there in the bot lane. I think they're just going to be able to... Wait, wait, we got it off? Oh, man, he managed to get yeah. the three away. Easy peasy. Yeah, look at the damage coming out from these two, though. I mean, Power Shot does miss for FBC, but either way, this this bottom lane, very, very dominant for Nick the Galaxy. I mean, sure, the Monkey King is still doing fine stop. on CS at the moment, but, you know, FBC is going to really put the hurt in now that he's got no health to work with, and no Tango's remaining after this one's run out as well. It's kind of the impossible lane for a Monkey King, right? Like, Monkey wants to step up and hit four times. Is he going to hit Winona four times? He's not. And if he goes to Centaur, he's taking 90 damage from a hoof stomp. Instantly, Rotation from Cold up to the top shot. lane. Are they ready for this? Doesn't look like it. They're going to collapse onto no. Miracle up here. I um, don't think he's got the health to survive this. Mad Frog's going to be able to take him down. Cold gets a kill. Now the move to Kuro as well. And it'll be the double for the Crystal Maiden. What a rotation coming out from the CM. Yeah, it's Portals, so important. Maybe. I'm just talking about how impossible bot lane is. It's like if CMs goes here, you're just gonna feed more kills away to the dire side. So he makes a move top, he gets those kills, and now he returns with a double kill to his name. It's like, all right, I got no resources, but I'm back. <laughs> but it's yeah. important that they did kill top. They need to do something. I just feel so bad for this Monkey King. 12 CS to the 21 of Windrunner. He might that even be dying. Not ideal, yeah. I think he might just get taken down. Kuro's here as well, just to help out. You can rotate, we can rotate. Isla is going to drop. Now look towards Cold as well. I mean, Cold is trying to get aggressive on FBZ. Oh, he's just trying to get the courier before his inevitable demise. But inevitable it is. Metaphor, though, coming across here, looking for the freebie onto Kuro. Kuro doesn't really have a way out of this one. They don't have any stuns left either. So Metaphor's just going to be able to run down Kuro. And he's not stopping. Continuing to go here. Throws out the blood grenade onto the two of them, trying to finish off Matthew. But he's getting low on HP. FBZ just continually tapping away at him. Isla trying to finish off Matthew. Jumps forwards with the tree dance. Can take him down. The right click is enough to finish off the Zen. Tour. And now FBZ suddenly all alone. Metaphor, he's got the trample available along with the onslaught. The combo is there, the damage is in, and FBZ will go down as well. Metaphor is going to die to the tower, of course, just to get that reset. But huge rotation again. I mean, Hanini, like, you thought that Nigma actually caught them off there with a the rotation from Kuro, but the, the Primal Beast rotation was even better. Yeah, it's so important that the Primal Beast helps out bottom right. Cold helps top with the Crystal Men rotation. And then Primal needs to then recover the bot lane. It is so important that for Hanini that they assist each other. If they're left locked alone, it is going to be difficult, right? Like Kotl's free farming mid, Winona was free farming bottom. Like everyone's hitting creeps on Nygma, so they need to help each other out. And it, it's a little bit messy. People aren't CSing as effectively, but at least Hanini are keeping the net worth similar just because of the kills that they've obtained. In regards to last hits, very much Nygma favored. Yeah. Usually so. And how does that affect the net worth? Well, it's looking a lot more even in that regard, at least. Yeah. Still, still a little bit in phase, just due to the difference between uh, FBZ and uh, Lil One, the two off laners. They are wrapping around onto Sumail. They got Crystal Maiden and Tiny in the area, and they don't actually have a mid ward for the Cottle, so he has to do this with intuition. Yeah, he has been able to kind of sense it out, but unfortunately, there are two supports around him the with the Pulverize coming on out. Oh. They're going to be able to just destroy him. Samael does get the kill into Cult, though, thanks to Kuro, holding him still with the Sprout and getting at least one Retribution kill. But, you know, a mid for a support, that's a trade which Hanini will take every day. Yeah, and uh, that's, again, just generally good moves coming out from the supports here. I think, again, there's, it's a bit back and forth in regards to who's dying, but they are just chipping down the uh the resource of enigma just a little bit getting kill i think metaphor of course is the uh the, the mate the primary target if enigma wants to, to stop this aggression 
They are gonna have to find a way to stop this primal beast because he, yeah. wherever he goes, kill should be occurring. He has the phase boots, windlace, looking to go for Veil. And the supports, they are still sitting mid, but Sumo is very defensively postured. Seven minute wisdoms, Matthew takes bottom oh, one. Toss back onto Kuro. Kuro unfortunately working into the three heroes and he's gonna get pulverized into oblivion. Another kill for the side of Hanini. Just a bit surprised that they are going there, right? They, they know the supports have been sitting there. They know they've been ganking. Just a little bit optimistic on Kuroki to, to try and go for that D ward. Net worth still not really budging. One team CSs, one team kills. <laughs> yeah, it's an interesting uh, game that's being played by the two of these. And, you know, so far, slight net worth advantage to the side of Fernding the Galaxy. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, Tiny was like, oh god, they're onto me. <laughs> Jesus, metaphor, chill, my guy. Sees Kuro just immediately just like, yep, that's my kill, that's my boy. <laughs> TP's out, absolutely fine, my god. Wait, Cold. <laughs> okay, Cold's just getting plinked in the back of the head by FBC. Focus fire out onto him. The plus five's like, oh, I see my mid doing it, I can be there I'll too. So you. what, you TP'd? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Happens every time, it's okay. Um, bad frog. Might be dying. Although well, Metaphor just comes charging on in and he's going to claim the kill onto Matthew here for sure. So it'll just be a trade. Metaphor with the TP. Oh, just running back to lane actually. Killing spree for both mid laners, but yeah, Metaphor. And also, both mid laners are going to be picking up important items, right? He's going to pick up a veil to amp up more damage. Tiny does magic damage, CM does magic damage. And then on the other side, you then have a vessel coming out for Keeper of Light. And that will rip through the tankiness of Monkey King, Primal, these heroes that want to play on either their raw HP or lifesteal. Specifically Monkey for that part. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see how both teams utilize their mid getting such aggressive items so early in the game. In the meantime, of course, Miracle farming up on the Sven, just just clicking creeps, doing what he does best. One and one and zero for Miracle, so very, very a quiet game for him so far. Yeah, like for all the noise of the game, the net worth does clearly show that Nigma is just doing, just it is playing yeah. more efficiently on the cores. And the reason why Hanini is like keeping up is the fact that Prime Beast is just, you know, having a buffet of Kuroki throughout the, the early game, right? It's just... How many deaths has Kuroki got? He got six deaths. And I'm pretty sure really Primal was a bad buffet if it was just the same thing over and over again, though. True. Uh, that's a good point, actually. But it is just an all-you-can-eat nature's profit <laughs> buffet. So it, it is. It's not my fault. It you, really you, is you all you can admission. eat. You yeah. yeah. You knew what you were getting into. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, I mean, Metaphor's enjoying it right now. He's not complaining. He's eating good. Oh, he's eating so good. Veil complete. Looking for an early Shivas here as well. Got such a good item on the Primal Beast now that increases spell damage. Just trample them into oblivion. And always that get out of jail free card. If you find some mail on top of you, then onslaught away to safety. Four, four, and zero. Nice surprise there for the Primal build. The Monkey King also is opting for a very aggressive item. He's going for the Diffusal Blade. Like, in these positions, wow. carry players might think about, okay, hold on, wait, Matthew. Both teams kind of jumping each other here. They, of course, the Vessel, level 5 Tiny. You'd expect him to go down if they can connect one more spell on him, but doesn't seem to be the case. Yeah, Cold seemingly getting away with this one, but Matthew's the one who's going to get trampled down to Oblivion. Metaphor now on a mega kill streak, 7-1 and one on this Primal. Absolutely tearing it up right now. And that's the thing, like I uh, talked about the options they have of getting away from these uh, from these tramples and such, but you know, you, you gotta hit six on your centaur first, and he's just not there. FBZ, yeah. not really a target at the moment, but I don't know, I kinda wanna see FBZ maybe making moves onto the primal with this defusal of his own. He might be able to uh, take him down. But if you just look at the, the levels across everyone in the game right now, Miracle, Sumail, FBZ, all level nine. Kuroki, level, just at level six. Matthew, still trying to get level six. Like, if Nature's Prophet had ultimate there, if Centaur had Stampede, right, that's instant yeah. free kill tiny, continue farming. It is the repercussions of Nigma making a lot of these cheaper moves, which have starved their supports. And now, you know, they're facing repercussions a little bit, but I feel like, I don't think they care. Like, as a viewer, you might look at this game and go, oh, they're dying, they're, whatever. But the fact that their free calls are farming, 
like it, for the bigger game plan yes it could be cleaner but it doesn't really matter right because they're still going to hit this stride like can primal 1v3 oh it's called that beast jesus where did he go <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> I mean, just got deleted yeah big commitment big kill um, Again, we've already said this, like Primal Beast, he is like the pillar for Hanini to play around, right? He's got the Veil. The Veil then amps up everyone on his team, bar Monkey King. Uh, maybe, actually, you know what, with Trey Dance, it's, actually, that's pretty good damage, right? He buffs up his entire team in the damage that they do. And he's top net worth, right? 7,000 net worth. I am interested to see how Hanini will pivot to the mid game, especially because Monkey King went for a Diffusal Blade. It's not as if this monkey will suddenly catapult the net worth with space, right? Like, he's itemizing. Yeah to just sit behind his primal and it really enforces the idea that in the next two three minute two to three minutes sorry when shiva's guard comes out for the primal beast and diffusal comes for monkey king they need to make some big moves because yeah this fen just free farming he's a couple items away from you know brushing off a primal and you know, hundred to zeroing a monkey king it's crazy how much money this uh this this primal has i mean that's what happens when you keep getting these kills Ooh, I mean, that's it though. Nigma are the team with the net worth advantage still. And 2k as well, so. You know, Stampede. Not nothing. Stampede up to the top side. They want to try and bring down Isla, and they're going to be able to do so with a focus fire coming on through. Matthew with the stomp, and Isla to fall. Monkey caught up a little bit out of position here, and uh, no primal coming to punish for this one. A little bit too far away in the kind of elbow of the map there. He just picked up the Shiva as well after farming this ancient stack. He'll be on his Kura shortly. So now. Diffusal, Monkey King, Shiva's on the Primal Beast. You've already got the Vessel on the Brewmaster. So many active items, and they're trying to be active onto Winrunner. Nice body box there. Very nice indeed, but FBZ turning around with the aggression. Doesn't have the focus fire to throw onto Cold, though. Cold just got to drop the ultimate and bring down FBZ once again. Once again, Nygma, very slow to kind of react to this one, but Smell will get the snipe off regardless with the uh, Illuminate from the smoke, so... Oh, look at bot lane though. Monkey King TP's to the tier 2. He's pinging out the, the Sven. Do they have anyone else though to make this move? Oh, I I nearly baited you there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they, they were like poking yeah, Primal right. whilst Monkey King's like pinging bot lane and stuff. It's uh, You can feel the tension with Hanini. That, like, they want to get things done on the map, but their heroes just aren't in the right places right now. And now they're TPing bot lane. But aren't the, it's in daytime that the Brew and the CM, they just showed themselves on the creep wave. So, Sven right. shouldn't really be dying here. Metaphor does have a Shiva's though. So, oh, uh, Sven it. walks into the tiny. Where the hell did he come from? Portal's now in. Miracle being blocked up right now. I mean, it doesn't feel like he can go for the TP out. So just trying to run himself away. But he's got a stampede to try and get himself out of danger. The rest of the team needs to make their way over here quickly. The split's going to come out for the Brewmaster as well. They are committed to this kill. Cold comes flying in across there with the four stuff to slow down Sven. Miracle is running out of health. The team, where are they? They're just not there in time to give him a hand. Metaphor though, can the defense back from there? You're actually blinking in and stunning up Metaphor for now. I mean, they don't have their spend going for this fight. It seems of advised, but then they feel like they can still do it. Yeah, what a move from Madfrog there. Like, we saw that the Brewmaster had showed on the wave. I think Miracle is well aware that they were on the left hand side. He just didn't anticipate the twin gate usage and. In, in wow, again, he's jumping with FBZ. Just jumping on they in, found throwing out. across another one into Metaphor as well. Actually, kind of helping Matthew get out of this one. Nice trees out from Kuro to block off the chase, but little one's still able to squeeze in between it. But no one's actually going to go down here. Because, and he you just know, weren't in position to capitalize on that, right? Like, they found them in a choke point, but the Monkey King was on the far right side of the fight. If he was able to layer in a stun, then that could have been like two, three big kills, yeah. And, I'm surprised Miracle just immediately respawning and saying, I want some revenge. I want I want to go kill some supports. And they're going to do exactly that with Cold. Oh, they smoked up and instantly found Brewmaster. He doesn't have split for a minute. Yeah, this should be a kill. With the uh, focus fire upon him, there's nothing much he can do. Oh. FBZ is going to grab that one. Oh, tree from the sidelines. Madfrog grabs it. He oh, gets a return kill in the middle lane. No, Sven, no I mean, he popped the god strength to try and go for the tower, but now he's got a Primal Beast upon him, but Primal by himself doesn't have the lockdown to stay on Miracle. The stun, the war cry, Miracle gets away. There's something with Nygma games where it's like at any minute, you're like, oh, wait, what? He's there. Oh, oh, he's there. <laughs> like you've really I mean, why is Miracle popped God's Strength for a tier 1 tower in the middle lane whilst the rest of the team is doing something completely different down at the bottom side? I don't know, but this time it works out fine, so... It's risky, 
but it works. Bru, had you split? Uh, maybe, I don't know. Got some kills, want to press the advantage? It's a bit awkward, but still. Isla. Talking about people being out of position, Isla is very, very, very deep right now, yeah. farming up the enemy jungle, and yeah, unfortunately, there was a ward there from earlier on. God's Definitely is an unexpected cool place for uh, Dyer to have a ward, to be fair, but still, yeah. they're getting caught. Yeah, Hanini will be kicking themselves a little bit there. They're going to find Kuroki, but they really want Smell though. They want the bigger kill. They just fully ignore Kuroki, run past him. Smell gets pulled down. Kuro, he's going to be the pudding. He's the afterthought, and he does get killed off as well, but that's a five times kill streak going to Metaphor now as well. which pushes him back up to the top of the net worth chart. The Shiva's guard, you know, they, we had a little bit of a lull after the Veil, waiting for the Shiva's to come out, but Metaphor is back on full acceleration. Yeah, I really want to see this monkey can get more involved in the fights. Like, he's itemized for the fight and, and struggling to, to get himself in. The net worth, it hasn't changed. It is Primal Beast, three Nigma cores, and then the entirety of Hanini after that. Yep. And they just keep uh, going. They keep looking more. at Miracle. Miracle, he needs some help. Matthew tried to get the stun off, very nearly did, but didn't quite pull it off. And it looks like Miracle might just be left for dead now. Certainly is. He goes down again. Needs that BKB now more than ever. And in fact, he's even bought the Ogre Axe. So there was a chance he could have just skipped the Ogre Axe, gone for the uh, Bat King Bar. Oh, wait, no. Is that the old Echo Saber? The Shroud. He's, he's burning the Shroud. Okay. Tank up can doesn't you, can care you about the Echo Saber anymore? Yeah. You can? Okay, yeah. I guess you can ah. as a recipe. Don't know why yeah, you'd do yeah. it though. <laughs> Wouldn't build into anything, but <laughs> that good. But No, just a quicker BKB, right? Sure, but then you're stuck with a broadsword on a void stone. Yeah, I suppose. Not like it used to be with the Oblivion stuff. There we go. I don't know. I've not really thought about disassembled tech nowadays, especially because like Mask of Madness also got just kind of destroyed yeah. in the disassembling. Like this broadsword being a component in disassembly, like what am I going to use? Am I going to buy Battle Fury, <laughs> a Blade Mail, a Shadow Blade, or a Mask of Madness? It's like none of it's good for like some thirty-minute timing. It's just yeah, yeah, very clunky. It's just if you want the BKB like a fraction earlier, and then you can yeah. re remake the Echo afterwards. But, sure. Yeah. Yeah. That's I'm sure some uh, Harpoon Hero point. could utilize that for sure. Some like Slada type thing or something. Mm -hmm. Actually, yeah, it could do it. Technically. But you don't really want to force yourself to Harpoon too early. Anyways, didn't happen. Yeah, anyway. Anyways, yeah. So, Isla is about a recipe away from BKB. And... Again, I'm very impressive how Hanini has utilized this Primal Beast. Like, it has always, it's just been the metaphor show the entire time. He's about to complete his uh, Shroud. It is now on the Courier coming out. But what is their next move? They can't really do Roshan. They don't have a clean way of doing it. No minus armor. No way to just, just yeah, punish that, that objective. So it is just going to be about the kills. And I think the fact that Isla has had a, a struggle of a game, like if he didn't have those couple deaths, if he participated in this bot fight and he had the BKB already, it could really be helping Hanini out right now. So this Monkey King has to play catch up, has to help his team out. And he's 250 gold away from that item. And when he gets it, I expect them to, to ramp up the aggression once more. Yeah, something going to be a big timing items. for them. Can the Sven match it? Uh, looks like he should be able to as he's closer to his BKB than the Monkey King is, so we'll have both yeah. heroes with the BKB ready to go. They have three BKBs now on Nygma. Sven's about to get one, Kotal has one, Windrunner has one. So wow. there's Primal Beast that's been destroying every fight. He's only going to be able to pulverize a single BKB hero. And then in that time, if he pulverizes, let's say, the Sven, Windrunner can focus fire him. If he pulverizes the Kotal, you will then have a God Strength right click you. With a focus fire. So if they can Nigma can actually position correctly, this primal, even though he's twelve thousand net worth, top of the leaderboard, his impact should be very much uh you know reduced in this next engagement. Of course positioning is key there to be able to, to do that. He has a haste rune bottled, which will which will kind of enable him to, to get good position on this primal beast. Yeah. Nigma sure. they are going for the tormentor, and Kuroki gets a very big shard. The curse of the old growth is incredibly powerful large aoe uh, slow 
that gives vision. We'll be able to find Monkey King with ease. Yeah, and that slow can add up as well. Like if you're fighting in the wrong place, that slow is gonna really hurt if you're not in the in the lane itself. Mad Frog. Ooh, a little try and toss back onto FBZ. Doesn't quite pay off though. FBZ patient on the BKB as well. Not over panic, but now it's gonna have to pop it as Metaphor's upon him. But Metaphor is immediately backing himself away. Nice Meanwhile, Lil, one of the sidelines. He gets off the split. Oh no, Matthew's gonna get torn apart now. Miracle trying to back himself away. Wait, he doesn't have the BKB. It's on a two second cooldown. Oh no, he's gonna get pulverized up into the air and he's gone. Oh, Kuro trying to run away. Curse the old growth. I'm gonna save you now, buddy. He's gonna fall as well. Two heroes left on the side of Enigma. They are safe and away. But that was a complete disaster. I didn't see. I mean, I clicked on the spend. His BKB is on cooldown. It, it must have just been delivered or moved from his backpack. I, it yeah. must have been from his backpack. It was backpack, yeah. It, he hasn't used his first charge, so that is incredibly awkward. On top of that, Oof. Nigma just weren't in position, right? Like, they, they jump on in. They look to kill the Brewmaster, but they don't have that plus one damage to actually kill him off. A beautiful, beautiful stun from the Monkey King. This Bounder Strike preventing that killing blow, and it fully turns around the engagement. So we've been asking yep. for this Monkey King to turn up in a fight, and what a time for him to turn up. That single Bounder Strike, it just removed Nigma from that engagement, and they had to run away. And sure, there was a blunder with a BKB from Miracle, but... It was the bounder strike from Monkey King that really gave him the confidence. And it also helps that Metaphor is playing with so much confidence. Like he just runs into the middle of them. He doesn't care. And that no care attitude is giving them so much presence in these engagements. I think Sven needs one form of mobility, right? He needs a silver edge or a blink or something. He's just getting kited out and we are not seeing his damage get into any of these fights right now. Nope. He's, he's just hadn't been able to click people. That's the issue. I mean, yeah. You need to get in there. You need to get off that damage. You need to blow up the brew before he gets off that split. I mean, they were so close to getting that brewmaster pre-split, which would have been absolutely huge, but fortunately, it's taken a little bit too long about it, but they're coming in for a bit of revenge now. Nigma, they're going to jump forward. They see the tiny. Mad Frog, it's not a bad target. I'll take him down with these. Nobody else going to show from the side of Hanini, and that'll be that. BKB, by the way. Not too far away for the Crystal Maiden. Yeah. It's a fun item to pick up. Like Crystal Maiden is a hero that if you don't itemize that well, you do fall off the game, right? Like early on you're a laning phase aggressive. But you're food. <laughs> if you uh if you have like only a four stuff in the late game, one fence done, one anything, you're dead, right? And I, I don't mind it. We see celery on position five sometimes think about BKB quite early on and no, I, I do value it in, in these games, and yeah, this one should be working out. Metaphor is on FBZ right now. But the RK BKB Marine. is going to pop it now and try and run himself away, which should let him survive. Although, with the Spirit Vessel on him and the Shivas, no, nah, he'll be all right. Gets his way out to the fountain. Well, Nigma is struggling, though. I mean, yeah, it, they really are. It's just they're, they're lacking that cohesion where... They pick up item uh, and go, and they found the Monkey King, though. He still has a BKB if he wants to use it, but perfect not gonna stuns matter. coming through. Yeah, that was all Matthew blinking and cutting down the tree. Very, very clutch. But uh, BKB now popped from Smell, trying to get away from Metaphor. Metaphor looking over towards a Sven. Sven still BKB in the pocket, ready to go. Should he want to really commit to this fight? But he doesn't. He's backing away and looking on over towards the easy kills. Get Mad Frog. Get Cold. That is a plan. Meanwhile, Kuro has also been taken down a similar way. Oh, he's back into the air again on Miracle. But I don't think there's going to be any follow-up here. Metaphor is waiting in the trees behind, looking for an opportunity, but I'm not sure one's going to prevent itself. I think this should just be Nigma cleaning up Lil One as well, and that'll be four heroes dead on the side of Hanini. Bit of an overextension there on their already dead Monkey King. Yeah, I think finally Hanini has kind of blundered themselves, right? It's been the kind of the story of Nigma and their initiation. Now Hanini, it's their turn to, to kind of poorly execute in a fight. And, it does boil down to that you find the Monkey King, he dies instantly. He was pivotal in that previous engagement. Him going first, is that really the recipe of a good fight? Especially with yeah. Brewmaster, he was only 100 gold away from his Radiance. These are some big timings coming out and now. Monkey King, he's... Oh, he's back in the top lane, nearly gets hit by the power shot. Oh, that would not be learning devastating. his lesson, but getting away with it this time. Yeah, that, that ward from Matthew above the, uh, the hard camp there, just allowing... Just a little bit of vision to see where the, the Monkey King's jumping from. Well, that is... Uh, I, don't know if you, I don't know if you've ever played Monkey King and had that happen to you, but it makes your, like, your skin tingle when you see your spell oh, yeah. so close. I am fully clenched. It's 
Ooh, RBZ. Very clutch shackle shot there to keep himself alive, of course. He's that rooted. pulverize could have come down. Caught by the tail end of the frostbite. Matt Frog's upon him as well, and that should finish the job. FPZ is still dead regardless. Nice Ignis Fatal's coming out from this male, but unfortunately no follow-up at the moment. Sven down on the bottom side of the map, just clearing up waves, getting some farm under his belt, looking for his next item. He really wants to be able to get off his damage in the next fight, so he's going for a Chrysalis. See what Miracle's able to get done when he does hit that Chrysalis timing. Yeah, he's actually already got it. Daedalus next. Meanwhile, Hanini, they take the top tower, they back themselves away. They'll, they'll be looking to hold up in the top corner around Roshan. Do Nygma contest this Roche? I mean, they're positioned pretty awfully to be able to do it, but I kind of feel like they need to get over here right now. Ooh, if they want to contest it, they need to be there you know, 10 seconds ago. They're smoking from, from mid. FPZ is still running. 18 second cooldown on the BKB. It's a relatively slow Half rush. HP. We... Yeah. They stand a chance of getting here in time. Who's here to pop the smoke? Mad Frog's up on the high ground. Maybe he could slow them down with a nice avalanche. It's going to be very close. Nigma approaching the pit. They're slowing down a bit, though. I don't think they're going to get in there in time. The Illuminate is going to come in, but it's not giving them the information they need. But they're running out of the pit to try and fight them right now. But Miracle's already taken down Cold. They're not taking Roche on yet. Metaphor instead. Roche, it's so low. Isla trying to finish the job all by himself. Nigma just not getting into the pit. They're being bodyguarded by Metaphor right now. And finally, Roshan will fall to Isla. And Kuroki, he's going to go down as well. The boy Panda finishing the job here. Metaphor they can't is getting so low. Yet. He's trying to get himself away from this one. Miracle, he needs to chase this kill. He needs to bring him down. Stormhammer comes down. The right click's coming through. He's tanky, but he's not tanky enough. Samael brings down the primal. The beast is dead, but now they need to get out. They don't have any resources left, although Miracle is still considering here. If he gets an opportunity to turn around, but it's a little bit Awkward going on to the police master here. Uh, Brewmaster, sorry, where he's going to get away. It can spot us also giving them a little bit more space to keep on running. They don't want to keep fighting whilst this monkey is nearby. They get a chance to isolate a little one. They might go for him, but no. TP's out from Samael, from Miracle. They get themselves to safety. What a fight as well. And for, for Cold on the Crystal Maiden, he just picked up the BKB, but he just didn't have the mana or the resources to use it. And I'm so surprised that no one Enigma thought about going for the pit. The fact that the fight had broken, Roshan hadn't, you know, advertised that he died yet. So, yeah, it was a little bit of a, I think, all on metaphor in this primal. He did so much zoning, even with the Bruce split as well. Just built this, you know, brick wall that you cannot get through. And, yeah, of course, Radiance is complete. They got the... Uh, Amulet on the the brew, like he's very tanky and But at least we've learned guys that Primal can die. He's yes. had a very stellar game and it's taken nearly half an hour to to really see. It's the second death of the game, but this has been like the actual the first real death where Nigma might get a little bit of confidence from it. Mm. Yeah, just yeah, like cool. Aghanim's Labyrinth, you know, you just need to memorize his patterns, you know, his his, his spell usage order, and uh, sidestep <laughs> mm -hmm. him, play as a team, and you, you can bring him down. I think the play as a team part was the important one. True. So Matthew just picked up a Lotus. Wow. That would be very important as well, especially because you can pulverize through BKB. So now Matthew can stampede to disengage, blink Lotus's ally, who's potentially getting jumped by Primal. Just again, ways to mitigate Metaphor's aggression. And Miracle has just picked up the Daedalus. Like big items are coming out for Nigma in this next fight. Even though they're fighting into an Aegis, they have all the tools in their arsenal to be able to win a fight. It's just you know, translating it into a successful fight is uh, is the difficulty for them. And Indy, they're grouped up, looking at this bottom tier too. Yeah, Daedalus on Miracle and Daedalus almost complete on the Wind Ranger as well. So they're about to hit a huge damage spike on the side of Nygma. Let's see if they can actually translate that into some real team fighting here. But it is Metaphor on the high ground. Look at this guy. He's got the shield rune and a double damage rune in the bottom as well. So this guy's an absolute monster right now. He's transcended from King. status. But look at the Ignis Fatters. Jumping through on everybody. The Monkey King's already gone for his first life. Ignis bouncing it back. Some mail. He's just messing with Metaphor so much. FBZ the looking to commit shot. to the fight. Focus fire out onto the Monkey King. Beautiful shackle coming out from FBZ. And he's down his target though. Little one blocking him up. And now that BKB is over gets thrown up into the air. So the wind will not be chasing any further than this. Miracle, Wait, miracle. going forward he didn't all by BKB. himself. Stunned up. Where's your BKB? Where's your BKB? He's going to pop it, but he needs to back himself away. He cannot get off his damage. God strength BKB back away. Not the play. Now, 
Nygma. They just need to hold the line and not let Hanini back up there. They have lost a hero. They will back away. But big threats coming out from the side of Hanini. Ultimately, though, I'd say reasonable defense from the side of Nygma. Some clutch plays on the high ground. Yes, yeah, yes, clutch plays, and they're, they're going in more. Kuroki, he's got the Atos, he's looking at Primal, but Madfrog. He's just always messing with they them, have always to run away. throwing out spells. Stomp is in, though, Kuro's got the damage. They might be able to bring him down here. Yul's out just onto himself to delay the inevitable, but the inevitable it shall be. Tiny to fall, another hero dead just to support, but Nygma, they're making a statement. I mean, I feel like Miracle has just got to press his beak a bit, uh, a bit earlier. You know, all day today, when his morphlings and everything, it's, he's holding it for so long. And in doing so, players like Madfrog, the Tiny, you know, earlier as well with Omar on the line, like they're going to find windows just to jump you, to punish you in your positioning. And here, Nygma, they, 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 they counterplay a very greedy die from Hanini. And they should be getting more kills from it. And they're now... Oh, Miracle. Oh, it doesn't matter. Smell's here, though help him out well, maybe it doesn't matter he's gonna be giving to try and get himself away he's trying to run out from this dead? one but it's just able to run him down he's dead oh no now Kuroki's gonna die as well yep this is what i mean i feel like nigma time and time again they just crumble in the mid game like they have all the gold they have everything in their power to win a game but they're just making independent individual errors sorry that are just making it easy for their opponents to continue being aggressive now fpz he shows for a millisecond and guess what metaphor's there pulverizing him into the ground forcing yet another bkb oh it was and close. he nearly dies very very close but yeah bkb had to be used there unfortunately fpz not feeling fantastic about that one but still gets away it's the thing you can't be showing on lanes i feel like against this draft before you have that bkb available and you see the difference here from little one as well you know he's popping the split before it's even needed he doesn't care he's like i need this tower that's all i want i yes, don't want to die to some weird chuck or anything of course you have the uh the earth panda as well with demolish also helps with the pushing 19 okay, seconds on miracle I feel like if for, for Nigma they need to find that one chance in which they smoke initiate with vision. They need to find a hero. They're trying to go into Brewmaster here. He still has the quelling blades 34 minutes into the game, so the sprout won't yep. contain him. <laughs> Cold jumping in on this one with the BKB. Hello with the freezing field, turning it around and taking down Matthew instead. Who's ganking who? Monkey's chasing. Yeah, he's looking for more. He wants FBZ. Oh, beautiful power shot. Guess the exact right tree, but metaphor still on him. Nice Headband. again with the full stuff away. They're doing everything to keep FBZ in safety here, but unfortunately, now with the pole prize coming through, no BKB available and FBZ is going to fall. Oh man, without your wind, are you defending these barracks? I don't think so. Yeah, Miracle and Sumo are going to have to make some incredible plays to get do this one, right? It's going to be like a three versus five, and it should just be a racks down. Again, it just feels like Nick with a. They've not taken a moment to breathe in this game, to, to decide on a game plan and how they want to win it. It's just reacting to Metaphor, the Primal Beast, the entire time. And BKBs are getting used all around the map. FBZ's popping them. Miracle's using them like a little bit later than needed. And now they're all out of sync. So your BKBs aren't aligning. So Nigma doesn't want to fight. And then they keep getting kicked off. It's Hanini are doing an incredible job at making this map feel so small. Like they are just relentless. Yeah, that's a problem, right? Like, you're showing a wave and you're just getting jumped whether you expect it or not. It does feel like, you know, Nygma, they just underestimating Hanini each time, honestly. Like, the way they farm, the way they show themselves, the way they kind of, like, dangle heroes. Yep. It's like they're trying to bait them, but then they don't bait them, they just die. It is just having the numbers Hanini. available, right? Like, even if the, the overall fight is a little bit, like, messy, they just have the volume to make sure that they can cushion that, right? They're allowed to make mistakes with their heroes because they have so much kill threat. Like every hero in their team has the ability to, to punish someone. And Isla is shackled up with BKB and just, oh, he's just dead. <laughs> oh. All righty. Well, it goes the other way, I guess. I mean, the whole team was behind him, but the death was so fast. I mean, focus fire FBZ, not fucking around. And the net worth, it's not as if this game at any point has been like 20K for either team. Like a mistake like this and the enemy is just back in. Like. Yes, Hanini's done exceptionally well getting bot racks and going aggressive, but you blunder like this, Roshan's up, 
you give them an Aegis, then <laughs> Nick was back in the game again. This is such a roller coaster of a game. It's. Whew. Game one, by the way. <laughs> yes, so, yes, yes. It, it, it feels like a game five of the. I won't make too many memes, but yeah, it's it's something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cheese given across towards the male. Aegis in the hands of Sven. Miracle gonna be able to uh, come back from the dead at least once, obviously. Not the greatest hero due to God's strength, but definitely a game where his life is threatened, so you always want to have it. Satanic now finished up as well. Miracle, he, he's, he's very farmed. Say that for him. Yeah, 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 he is. Oh, Stampede! Yeah, Matthew's just trying to get himself away from danger. And nice Ogre Seal Totem, but unfortunately the chase is really heavy. And Matthew will fall. And that does mean Stampede out for the next engagement. We've talked Have about how... Have you looked how... at the graph, by the way? Sorry. Have you seen the graph yeah, sure. of this game? It is poetic. Oh, it's like my heart rate. <laughs> All I can say is Who's the winner winning? of this game Who is knows? the viewer. No, no, the yeah. viewers are winning right now. Both teams being a little cautious of each other right now. Missing their center on the side of Nygma. Even if he could buy back, well he can buy back, but even if he did, wouldn't have the stampede available anyway, which is the most important thing. What are, sure what are the buybacks just, saying right now anyways? Do we have... Uh... Okay. Uh, not really. Not really. I'm just thinking FPC. like for this next fight, like... What's the, what's the, how many lives are we really looking at for Nygma? Oh, oh they're going Focus in anyways. fire out onto the Primal Beast, big commitment. They want to bring him down and look at the damage coming down on Tim. There we go. Nygma, they find a way to put the damage to work. America just trying to fight Isla inside his own Wukong's command. He doesn't give a damn about all your armor, but uh, well, maybe you should. They're just taking chunks out of each other with the help of FBC. They will be able to bring him down. Cold just letting it go on the sidelines of the fight, fight, but not really getting anything done. So Mayo kills off the Crystal Mate. Now they move towards Mad Frog as well. Mad Frog, he's got the four stuff to buy himself some time, but FBC and Matthew are going to be able to get the kill. And it's going to be four heroes dead. Make it five as they turn their attention towards Lil One as well. Brewmaster, he's not long for this world as he's going to get taken out as well. Five heroes complete team wipe. And honestly, it looks effortless. The moment that Primal goes down, the moment the beast gets hunted, Enigma's fights just look so straightforward. Yeah, and they found the jump. Look at just this damage breakdown. You have the winner of the Sven working in tandem, jumping the same hero, getting the killing blow. And that's what they've been looking for for the last like 19 minutes of the fights. They've been lacking it. They haven't found that synergy between the two. And this fight, with the comfort of the Aegis, they do it. They kill off the Primal, they wipe everyone else. And you know, Monkey King, he's not a big damage dealer right now. He kind of amplifies everyone else through like fight around my Wukongs, buff me up, help me. And of course, BKB is. Nigma haven't been able to utilize him that well so far, and this time, BKB, right click, dead. No one can help and punish, so yeah, good fight from Nigma. It could have been a lot earlier, but it does finally click for them. Now, respect to the Primal once more, they do disengage from the area. Yeah, but you know, FBZ, the big one to start off that fight, gets a shackle from the sidelines, and mm -hmm. you know, that's kind of impressive when you don't have a blink dagger as well to land a shackle that good, but pulled it off. Miracle just satanicking up to get himself back up to full health, but they're going to see this as an opportunity. Cold, same to the front lines. God strength and BKB used from the Sven. They want to just try and take down Metaphor once again, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do so. Oh, there's a toss going on right now with the uh, Loader. Some shenanigans taking place. Cold and the supports just being murdered by the Sven as the back lines. Metaphor chases back the rest of the team. BKB's galore, but Enigma, they've kind of just been able to sidestep here. And again, FBC just constantly messing with Isla. And now they take it down for the tree. Matthew and FBC, the off-lane dream duo coming in to help out Send and kill off out. the Monkey King. Beautifully done. Meanwhile, on the backside of the fight, Sven all by himself just trying to fight up into everybody. Well, not all by himself. He's got Kuro with him as well. Trying to finish off Mad Frog. Can't get him through the trees, but Kuro gets the work done. Split comes out, though. Miracle is being beaten in by all these pandas. He doesn't have a Satanic available for the time being. He needs to get himself away from this one. By but the Tiny, team oh, coming okay. on through. They're trying to help him out. The Sven, he might be falling, but they're going to get so much in response to the bat. Miracle, he's going to live through it. All turns around, brings him down. Oh, Ultra, Ultra kill King. for Kuro. How? <laughs> oh. But five heroes down on the side of Hanini and Nigma. Oh.
What a step forward in this game for them. They've waited so long for it, and suddenly there's just the barracks waiting for them. Fuck the barracks. They go for the tier fours. Nick the Galaxy might have just sealed this game for themselves, and they have. GG called T. Kuroki was cheated of a rampage. Find the man that <laughs> stole it from him. It was Matthew. All right, Matthew, be uh -oh. careful. <laughs> Ooh. His contract expired suddenly. What the hell was this game from Nigma? It was one of the messiest wins I've seen from the region. It was back and forth, and then at the very end,